Okay, here's the third one we did of the of the um, house that had the huge tree on it. You see, it pulled up when that thing came down. It pulled the sidewalk up. See, the root ball was right here, over here. It might have been that one. No, I guess it's here. It all looks different now because it's gone. But you see, it destroyed the garage here. Here's the van that stopped the tree. See, right there. So the, the brunt of the, the tree weight, I guess, fell there. And then it hit the roof there too. So it totaled this van, it looks like. Um, was they're pulling stuff out. Pretty sad, huh? Uh, and I didn't even know they had this El Camino. See, there's a classic car. I should do I've done that for David Spots, a classic, but they, they have a horse trailer back there, or some kind of trailer. I don't know if it's a horse trailer, but it's some kind of a trailer. They have an El Camino. It looks like it is an El Camino ride. It's not a Ranchero. But look at this van. There's, there's tree stuff inside the back of the van, see? And just crushed it though just I mean, I mean totally crushed it. who knows what they can really do with that i mean i don't know if that might be told it was a, was it an econo line van um uh, some i guess kind of a classic right maybe from the 80s but there it is here is the house you can see some chairs right here uh she wrote me and she said that her husband was in the living room which is right there I guess, and the van stopped the tree. So please go to their GoFundMe. There's, there's this GoFundMe for, for there's a GoFundMe for the house and these people. And then we interviewed the lady who lived next door. This is the destruction. That's amazing what one tree can do. That looks like a, a bomb. Because it looks like a bomb went off, and doesn't it? Doesn't that look like that could be footage from some uh, combat zone or something like that, or someone dropped a 500 pound bomb on a on a office building or, or something like that. Uh, here is the next door neighbor. Remember we spoke with her. Uh, she's the one that had the black truck that was here and it got hit and it, they, they, they say they think it's total. She said her truck's name is George. So if you go back that way, whoop, 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 and see the other videos, I'll probably, I'll try to link all three together. Maybe I'll make a little playlist. Tree came down in Monrovia, but uh, it came all the way to here. It was so powerful. And so, and also look at this, look at where it, it hit to break this. Look how tall that, I don't know if you can tell how tall this is, but that's probably 15, maybe more, maybe like 20 feet in the air. So the, the, when it was laying on its side, it was so tall, it was able to snap off that branch. Then when it came down here, um, going this way, all the way to here, it on its side, it was tall enough to do that, and also wide enough with it on its side, not the, the, the height of the tree, came all the way here. To where that about where that green car look before where the green car is where that little the, the thing where about that as far as that bike lane uh the branches came out that far so amazing isn't it uh scratched up the garage see it hit the bent up the garage door it bent the garage door and scraped that so that tree basically it goes from where the van is so on one property, two properties, three properties, and it was so big that it hit the, the here and came all the way out to there on its side, and it was so tall to do that. So I don't even get the, the gist of what I'm saying about how big this was, but um, that was a huge, huge tree. They said it was, a little, it was over 100 years old. They know it's over 100. Uh, they had some trees here in Monrovia that they believe were over 300 when they got either blown down or had to be taken down. Because of, we get some kind of beetle out here. Uh, I don't know what they call it but it's a beetle that gets into the oak trees. I live at Royal Oaks, and we lost some of our trees. There's some bricks on top. I don't know if those were just on the roof anyhow or if that was from, from this situation. There's a lot of bricks. So I guess it might have been partially bricks, um, but they did clear all this out, and um, it's really amazing, amazing what that tree was able to do. The, a lot of people are saying it's similar to this one, and if you can see how tall this thing is, uh, that's as tall as the telephone poles here. And they said it was, it was, it was bigger and bushier than that one. I, I mean, of course, I remember seeing it, but you see it as a tree. You don't see it laying on its side. So that's where the shock comes in. So you kind of forget all this stuff. So do you think I should make a playlist with all three of the videos that we have on here? I, I, maybe I will so I, can, so I can find a way to put all the GoFundMes together. Um, I, I know there's two GoFundMes I know so far. So if you know of any more GoFundMes, uh, Monrovia, California, three came down. 
uh, let me know and we want to put them all together. Maybe I can contribute like five dollars to each one or something. I, I think that's three or four. I think I have that much money, but uh, maybe I can do ten dollars to each one. But there's so many uh, other charities going on now too. It's real tough with all the stuff going on with the economy and people losing their jobs. And I'm thinking uh, a lot of competition for um, for uh, uh, charitable donations. But this looks like it's pretty legit. I mean, obviously, as long as you can go into the right GoFundMe, I can assure you, yes, a tree did come down. That's not that's not uh, CGI, computer generated images, or AI or any of that. It is the real deal, and that's what it looks like. So anyway, uh, this is the third video in the series now that we guys kind of got a series. Um, uh, this is at 113 Mountain Avenue. Um, is this house? And that's Foothill Boulevard right here. And if you go this way, uh, you'll see that's Lemon. That's where Lulu's missing. Um, not That's Wild Rose, I'm sorry. The one, the block further down is Lemon. And that's where Lulu, the little white dog, that's where she's missing from. And if you go further down and you see the light, um, that's Royal Oaks. That's the street that I live on. And here we go once again. So if you can help, please do so. Foothill, tree disaster uh definitely um a nat i guess a natural you'd call it a natural disaster and it wasn't blown down uh it just fell down and why did it fall down i don't know i'm surprised it didn't take it all some of this um but anyway it's uh pretty amazing isn't it so tall enough to break off these tr these branches on the avocado tree uh luckily it didn't take out the entire avocado tree i'm sure they'll be able to save it um tore the whole this is a the porch and then back that way to the living room the van she said saved her her husband's life i, I guess it was her husband i think she's a husband uh they had two dogs they said they told me they had two dogs in there the dogs got out okay the people got out okay i just wonder how loud this was i was asked i asked the lady who was here how loud was it was it was it, was it like a creaking sound like there was some warning like <laughs> boom or was it just boom but she said it was just boom and she had knocked pollen all the way up and covered her house with pollen so i guess a lot of pollen on the on the, on the tree itself probably a lot of uh, pine needles you can see here where they cut the the, the wood but probably a lot of pine needles and all that kind of stuff too all of that um came up you know so amazing that they got out thank god they got out i'm so happy they got out so if you can trick if you can contribute to one of those gofundmes please do so. If you can't, don't feel bad. I know there's a lot of need out there. You probably do donate to other things as well. If you don't, that's okay too. But anyway, here we are. The van that, I guess the van that saved the man's life, they're saying. So a terrible, terrible thing that happened. Thank God nobody got killed. And if we can help, let's do so. Take care. everyone. have a great day. Hopefully your day's a lot better than this. I mean, a lot of times we think, oh, things are happening. My foot is, I have a problem with my foot. I'm on my way to the VA, the VA once again uh, today, and I think, wow, my problems are so bad, but then I see this, you know, so, um, yeah, take care, everyone.